this is going to be a little fun with um, bootleg uh, grounds. Um, so we can see here that the uh, neutral comes into this screw and then the typical uh, bootleg where the neutral is connected to the ground screw. I've left the wire really long so that I can uh, do some other things with the, the experiment here. Uh, we'll turn the heater on. You can see that this, uh, well you can't really see it in the picture, but you, in the video, um, but this shows that it's properly wired, and of course it isn't, uh, but that's a, a feature of these cheap t testers. So I'm going to turn the heater on, and uh, we'll see that, uh, whether you can see it or not in the video, but we're at, yeah, 7.7, 7.68. Uh, amps settling down to 7.5, 7.6 amps, so somewhere right around there. Uh, now what I want to do is connect the uh, that bootleg ground to a known ground here. This is the ground from the uh, circuit and it runs out here to here. Uh, so we'll connect those together and of course then we have two paths back to the main panel uh, service equipment so now our amperage on the uh, let's see on the neutral is 3.3 .3 amps and on this wire here it's 3.7 amps so pretty similar um, there could be other things running on the circuit that's uh, making it different, but um, at any rate, uh, that shows how that amperage gets cut in half uh, when you have two paths. So now the question is, if you were to touch this, will you get a shock if you're touching something else that is grounded? Well, the way to test that is to disconnect this while the heater's still running and see if I can touch this and touch this at the same time. And as you can see, I don't get a shock. The neutral is still by far the best path. It doesn't want to go through me. Um, whether you could be a scenario where you could get a shock, maybe, if you could stick these things right in into your bloodstream on both hands but even if I take this uh, glass of salt water and make the path really short you can see I still don't get a shock I'm still not conductive even through that uh, wet uh, salty water on my finger so um, it would be interesting to see if there's any amperage on uh, on that wire with my uh, wet finger making contact and it's staying all zeros. So I'm not very conductive. <laughs>